Hello, my name is William Kerrigan. Today is August 16th and we are at Kerrigan Farms. Today we're going to be talking about apple ripeness. So right now we're in our apple orchard and these trees around us are golden delicious apples. These golden delicious apples are not ripe right now, but they will be ripe in September. One way we can tell that they're not ripe right now is the starch content. These apples right now have a lot of starch in them and that starch will be converted to sugars with enzymes, but they haven't done that yet. Um, and if you taste the apple, it tastes kind of like a potato. Um, they're a little bit sweet, but they're not ready yet. So I can show you all something with iodine. All right, so here we've got some iodine. And iodine reacts with starch and it turns purple, but iodine will not react with sugar. So right now there's a lot of starch in the apples and there's not a lot of sugar, so it should react with the starch and turn purple. If you pick a ripe apple that has no starch and all sugar, then there should be no reaction. It'll just stay brown, not purple. And if we put a drop on the apple, it should turn purple. It should start to turn purple. The reaction is kind of slow. See, it turns purple. So there's starch in this apple. The apple is still kind of sweet, um, but it's not ripe yet. I've also got a hamburger bun here, and this hamburger bun has a lot of starch. So this will be really quick. Look at that. It's purple right away. So iodine reacts with starch and it turns purple. If we pick uh, one of our other apples, this is a gala apple that we grew, but there's still a little bit of starch in the galas. But there's not much. This won't be very purple. And even though these galas do have a little bit of starch in them, um, they'll still ripen after they're picked. So apples are climacteric fruits. Climacteric means they ripen after they're picked. Some other examples of climacteric fruits would be uh, tomatoes or bananas. They also ripen after they're picked. Some examples of non-climacteric fruits would be grapes. Um, so I've got some grapes here. These grapes do not ripen after they're picked. So grapes have to be picked when they're ripe. Um, another example would be pumpkins. Pumpkins, if you pick them when they're green, they will not turn orange. They'll stay green forever. So you have to wait till your pumpkin is ripe before you pick them. All right, so here we've got a grape. This grape should have no starch. So the iodine just stays brown. It doesn't react, it doesn't turn purple. There's no starch, this grape is all sugar. So right now in August, these apples are not ripe and they have a lot of starch in them and they don't taste very sweet. We don't want starch in our apples, but that starch will turn into sugar. Another way we can measure sugar content is with a refractometer. This refractometer measures the refraction of light off the sugar molecules when you look through it and you can see inside there are numbers and it tells you the bricks. Bricks is a measurement of soluble solids and soluble solids is a measurement of how sweet things are. All right, so here's the Gala apple that we tested with the iodine and it showed a little bit purple, but now we're gonna test it on the refractometer to see how much sugar there is. So we can cut off a slice here and squeeze a little bit onto the refractometer. It should be enough juice. Now if we look at it, that's about 11 and a half bricks. So these Gala apples are really sweet and um, even though there is still some starch left in the apple, they're climacteric, so that means they'll ripen after they're picked. So even if you pick them now, they'll still get sweeter in your fridge. All right, so here's one of our Golden Delicious apple trees. We're gonna test the bricks of these apples now. So I'll pick one, cut off a slice, and squeeze a little bit of the juice out. All right, so that's about 11 and a half bricks. 
Um, these apples could be sweeter, so they're gonna have to ripen on the tree, and that starch in the apple is gonna be converted by enzymes into sugars, so they'll taste sweeter. They'll be ready in September. So here we have a grape, and we're gonna test the bricks of the grape with the refractometer. So just squish it and squeeze a little bit of juice. And that's like 18 bricks, so that's a very sweet grape. In the last video, we talked about the importance of apple thinning. And here's an example of why you need to thin. So this tree wasn't thinned enough, apparently, and uh, the weight of the apples broke the tree. And you can see in there where it's split. So all these apples crushed the tree under the weight of the tree. The tree could not support these apples, and it broke. So it's very important to thin your apple trees. Otherwise, you can have things like this, like breakages. It's pretty rare, but it can happen. All right, I'm gonna prune one of these apple branches and show it to you. So these are Golden Delicious apple trees and they're on M26 rootstock. But all of this growth here is from one season. This started growing in the spring and it's gotten this tall. Every year we had to prune off all the upright growth and leave the lateral growth. That's, uh, it'll make the apples. But um, this, is a, this is how much they grow in one season. So they get pretty big. They're very vigorous trees. We had to prune them every year. All right, how do you want to like do this intro? Uh, your name, where we are, date. Hello, YouTube. Like that. Are you ready? Hello, YouTube. Rising. It's always something crazy. You don't know what I'm going to say next? Yeah, that's what you love when you do filmmaking. Are you ready? To sugar. So we want sugar in the apples. I don't know, is that? Yeah, that's It sounded like I was gonna say something else, but I didn't. <laughs> did, but I'm just gonna cut it immediately. <laughs> Done. For like 30 minutes now. Ready? No. Say when. When. Um, okay. All right, be quiet. Mm, that's a crisp apple. Squeeze some juice onto the refractometer. There's like no juice. We gotta redo this. You want some asparagus? I'm a good backwards driver. 